All right, we are reviewing the Ion K Pack Select Knee and Shin Combo Pad. I ordered it off Amazon. Kind of expensive, 180 bucks with tax. I got the small. Here, let's let's zoom in on this this bad boy. So Ion's a company that makes wetsuits as well as some bike gear, so I was kind of curious to see what kind of form factor they might come up with as far as a knee shin pad combo. As far as an enormous pad, it's probably as slim down as you're gonna get. I'm switching from the G-Form knee pad Elite. You see this right here? That was where my knee was when I crashed last time. So I need something that protects both my knee and my shin. Very good, so let's take a look. So double vel Velcro system above the knee. We're just trying to get the pads apart right now. Undo this guy below the knee. And they have it labeled left and right. So what's really nice is that you can you don't have to slide these on before you put your shoes on, which is really, really nice. Okay. has this little extra hook deal. It's on the other side as well. And look where the impacts were last time. <laughs> Knee obviously, that was two weeks ago. And this was six days ago, and that's exactly where this pad covers, so that's good. So you can access the knee pad through this little slit, and so for example right now I need to adjust it. So right now it is feeling way more comfortable on the right. Okay, so I figured out why I had to rearrange this one in the first place, is because... <laughs> Go ahead. Give him a little spotlight. Okay. It came packaged, this one inside this one. So it was squishing the knee pad. My intentions with these pads are to use them for both on the trail pedaling up, going downhill, as well as on my local dirt jumps here. In fact, on their website, they say that it's fine for all those purposes. Oh, you're such a good boy. That was risky. So they have the sizing chart on their website. I recommend you get one of these. Figure out your size. <laughs> I've had the opportunity to use these pads regularly for over a month now, mostly on my dirt jumper, but also on my trail bike. They were quite comfortable on dirt jumps and a bit more noticeable when pedaling the trails. Although after a few minutes of pedaling, I got used to them being there and they were not uncomfortable. I've had two crashes to note while wearing these pads. The first crash, my front wheel washed out on a gravelly flat ground turn. I landed on my left side and somehow I got a small scratch on my right knee while wearing the pads. No idea how that happened. The next crash was on this jump. It has a short, steep landing, and I could tell I was heading OTB, so I ditched the bike and slid out on my knee pads and gloves. The pads truly saved the day here, and I remember laughing as I was walking back up to the top because I did not have as much as a scratch after what could have been a consequential crash. These pads do have antimicrobial lining, but still, eventually you'll have to wash them. To do this, first take out the knee pads and wipe them down. Velcro together all the straps so that there's no Velcro exposed to stick to your other clothes in the wash. And I personally take the extra step to put them in a washable laundry bag. I wash mine on warm, then let them air dry and put the pads back in. It's too much of a pain in the butt to wash them after every use, so I usually will open them up and let them air dry. 
But after three to five uses, I'll throw them in the wash. Click those subscribe and like buttons if you have found this helpful or at least entertaining. Share this with your friends and stay healthy, everyone. Mind, body, and spirit. See you next time.